Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Arm Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to give my opinion on Dr. Mike's video about 52 working sets per major body part. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. If you need coaching, I have a $6.99 special. You can DM me on Instagram at BenTheBarman or email me BenTheBarman at gmail.com or check out the link down below. That's $6.99 for a year of coaching. I'll be running that now through the end of the year. All right, commercial over. So... Dr. Mike made a video, Dr. Mike Isretel, basically talking about a study that, um, you know, I'm paraphrasing here, generalizing, saying you could do up to 52 hard sets and there would still be value for major body parts. If I got anything wrong, just drop it in the comment section, but it doesn't really matter. What I want to talk about here is some general thoughts. What I want to talk about is the real world application when it comes to specialization programs. Now, First off, a study is just a study, right? None of us, let's get this uh, out of the way, and this is not an attack on Dr. Mike, he's just talking about the study. This is just looking at the real world application because science can say one thing, but the real world is different. In the real world, we don't have time to specialize with 52 working sets per body part. If you think about it, it would be extremely ridiculous we probably tend or trend towards overuse injuries and a lot of bad things could go wrong. It's just on paper, it might work. It might be okay to do on paper, but in the real world, we don't have the time, energy, energy reserves, or the physical capacity to handle this type of brutality. Now, specialization programs. If you want to do a specialization program, the question is, if not 52 sets, how much work should I do? I want to do a specialization program. Let's say you want to focus on chest, you want to focus on delts, quads, whatever. How much volume should you do? Okay, so first and foremost, we need to be real. How much time do you have to work out per week? How many workouts? How many hours? So let me frame this. Let's start with this. In the massive iron world, we start with about 72 hard sets a week. This is the starting point. Four workouts of about 18 sets, hard sets per day. This is 72 hard sets per week. If you only have time to work out three times per week, it's gonna be 54. If you only have time to work out three and a half, it's gonna be in the mid 60s, etc. If you can work out five, it's gonna be more towards 90 hard sets a week. So we have to figure out how much work we can do in a week before we determine how we're going to attack a specialization program. Now that's assume, and you can adjust this as needed, that you can work out four days a week. In the massive iron world, we start with about 12 hard sets for major areas like chest, back, shoulders, and quads. This is not a rule, this is a general starting point. If you work out less or more than that, you can adjust it slightly as needed. So, the point here is to kind of give you guys some guidelines to figure out how to do a specialization program. If you're working out four days a week and you have 12 hard sets for chest, back, shoulders, and quads, and then about six to nine for arms and hamstrings, and a couple odd sets for traps, abs, or whatever. Here's how you structure a specialization program. You have those 12 sets, maybe you have 10, maybe you have eight, whatever. We're gonna pull back by about 25%. So let's say you wanna run a chest specialization program and you're doing 12 hard sets for the major body parts. We're gonna pull that back to eight. So we're gonna pull delts back to eight. So we, we pulled it back from 12 to eight. We're gonna pull quads back from 12 to eight during that time and we're gonna pull back from 12 to eight during that time, so we gain 12 sets. We're gonna take those 12 sets and we're now gonna place them on chest. So now for chest, we went from 12 to 24. 
So you might be saying, well, my workout structure is differently or is different. How do I do this? Whatever you pull back from the other work, you then add into the specialization work, right? So that's how you determine how many sets per week. In this, uh, in, this in this example, we pulled back on back delts and quads from 12 to eight, and we took those 12 sets and we added them to chest. Now, if you're gonna do a specialization program, you probably wanna do it about two months, maybe three. You're gonna get into the overreaching zone and you're gonna risk beating up your body. But we wanna be really, really careful that we can sustain it for at least two months, maybe three months, and you wanna make sure you're nailing your bulk during this time. Now, in my example, you could pull back a little bit on arm work as well and place that extra work on your chest, etc. So whatever you pull back on, on the other body parts, you can then move it on to the area of specialization. Would it be possible to do 52 hard sets for chest? Uh, it's possible on paper. You'd really have to pull back uh, everything else to a very dramatic degree, but I don't think that we need to necessarily, I don't think at all, not need to necessarily, I don't think we should consider this at all. I don't think it's even in the conversation. I don't think it's a good idea. Now, the question is, if I specialize in chest or whatever and add those sets to that area, are the other muscle groups going to suffer? Am I just gonna be growing that one area and not the other areas? And the answer is no. In my example, you pulling back your back, your quads, and your delts to eight hard sets, you can still get a lot of hard work on eight sets for those muscle groups, still get really quality work. That's a lot of hard work. Uh, and then you still, you, you just have extra work on your chest. So the fear that you're not gonna grow in other areas is a little bit overblown. It's not true at all. <clears throat> so, if you want to do specialization, let's say you're an early intermediate or intermediate lifter and you want to do specialization phases, how could you structure this? Well, you could do a two-month specialization phase on chest, a two-month specialization phase on back, a two-month specialization phase on delts, a two-month specialization phase on, uh, what did I miss out, quads, and then on arms. So we have like 10 months uh, out of the year where we're doing specialization phases during our bulks. And this would align really well with the massive iron bulking system where we're bulking about 10 months out of the year and then spending about two months out of the year uh, in cut uh, trying to keep our you know physique lean. So this type of specialization system would work well in the massive iron universe. Uh, specialized for two months, you just rotate your specializations. And over the course of a year, all your volume is going to equal up. All your volume is going to equal out. You're just having these periods where you're really laser focused. So I hope this helps clear up things a little bit. Uh, the, the information by Dr. Mike is one thing looking at a scientific study, but in the real world, we have to consider how much time we have available in the gym, uh, how much energy we can put in this, and we also have to be really careful about avoiding overuse injuries. We don't just we don't need to worry on a number 52. We need to be more practical and realistic, and say how can we structure it using our program to run a quality specialization program. So, guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.